Hello, 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 everyone. How are you? Nadine Wilkins here, and I'm excited to be on this live. You know, I had a great conversation with a dear friend today, and, um, you know, I share with her. I never know what I'm going to say when I come on to the live. I always say a prayer right beforehand, and um, but I do have a message for everyone that I think that's so important. I think it'll make a difference for everyone. I wanted to have a conversation about having discernment and taking wise counsel. You know, for those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet, I am a business consultant and I have the opportunity to work with amazing people, right? However, I also have the opportunity to meet people who are, you know, sometimes in a stage at life where they're not quite sure what the next step is for them. And um, I wanted to have a conversation with everyone because I think it is so, so, so important for everyone to just understand a few life principles that I believe will make a difference for you, your life, your business, your relationships, right? And the first thing I want to talk about is having, actually, before I get to having discernment, I want to talk about opportunity, right? And, you know, sometimes when people think of the, the word opportunity, there are some crazy people in the world, and yes, I'm going to say crazy, uh, you know, they're like, well, what is the catch? When is the other shoe going to fall off? Like, you know, these are the people that you can present gold and they will say it's fool's gold, right? Like, but then there's another group of people who desperately are looking for change and they're, they're looking for opportunity. And when they're presented with the right opportunity or they're presented with a opportunity, the first thing that they do is, they talk themselves out of it. And I, and I want to go through what that sounds like, you know. Um, you may say, well, I'm too old. I'm too young. I don't have experience. I'm not qualified enough, right? And in that process, you can have the right opportunity in front of you, whether it's a, a business opportunity, whether it's a volunteer opportunity, whether it's a opportunity at your job. If you come to the opportunity from a place of weakness and not strength, then that is what you're going to get from it. However, when an opportunity is presented to you and you come from a place of, man, well, how can I do this? Immediately, your brain will try to work things out to see, wow, how can you take advantage of this, right? So when a great opportunity comes your way, you don't want to talk yourself out of it. You want to actually ask yourself, well, how can I do this? How can this work for me if it is aligned with your definite major purpose, right? So that's one thing. Another thing I know for sure is successful people are quick to make a decision and slow to change their minds. And an unsuccessful person is slow to make a decision and quick to change their minds. And with that also comes people around you who say that they love you, who will talk you out of something. And it's not on purpose, right? You know, people, your family, friends, everybody, they genuinely love and care about you. However, there are people who, because they have not achieved certain things or they've never walked a walk or they've never, you know, had a certain level of success, sometimes they don't see how that is possible. They don't see how it's possible for themselves and they don't see how it's possible for you. And that's where taking wise counsel and having discernment is so, so, so important because I believe that if you're presented a great opportunity, the person that's trying to talk you out of it, they need to come to the table with something better. And if they're not, I'm going to look at you like, okay, <laughs> Now, this is so important because I truly believe it's like, who takes advice from a bad accountant, right? Like you, I, I believe in true mentorship, true leadership, you know, walking the walk, talking the talk. And that's why, you know, I feel so blessed to have amazing people who I say are on my board of directors, right? Because it's so, so, so important. There are people who are not pursuing their dreams and the things that, you know, they've kind of given up at this point and they're, um, you know, comfortable with their, where they are. And here you come to them with an amazing opportunity 
and they will literally tell you every reason why it wouldn't work. Why? Because they didn't see that for themselves. So I think it's so, so, so important when you have a great opportunity, you have a dream, something that's near and dear to you to really have discernment and also take a look at the person who's trying to talk you out of your dream. Because at the end of the day, the only person that's responsible for you is you, right? No one else is paying your bills, your mortgage, your, you know, taking care of your family, when it comes to really important life decisions, it is very important to look at, well, who is in my corner and what advice are they giving me? Are they qualified to give that advice? And if they're not qualified, then now you know how you should proceed with the advice that you're giving. You know, my mentor always says, you know, it, yeah, <laughs> and I actually can't even say it the way he does, but <laughs> people who have opinions that are actually value, guess what? They charge, charge a consulting fee, right? I'm a business consultant. They charge a consulting free and fee and everybody else, guess what? They have free advice, right? And some of that advice they may have not even done themselves. They're kind of just trying it out with you. So whenever you have a great opportunity, what you want to do is ask yourself, how can I do this, right? And your brain will work itself out to, you know, you'll figure it out. Make a decision. Don't sit on a fence and get, if you're going to get counsel, get wise counsel. Someone who has done what it is that you're looking to do. You can't go to your cousin who's been on a couch unemployed for the last like 20 years saying that there's no opportunity, there's no work, there's no nothing. When we live, thank God, in the United States of America, the land of opportunity, God bless our country. So I wanted to jump on and have this word. I know some of you are probably back to your football games, but I think it's so important to have a conversation about discernment taking wise counsel and if a great opportunity is presented to you don't talk yourself out of it ask yourself well how can i do this and when you do receive counsel it is okay to look at the person who's giving you the counsel have they done what you're looking to do and if not maybe they're not qualified to give that counsel so with that i really hope this message makes a difference for somebody today someone who's out there who has a really tough decision to make someone who's out there who's making a decision to you know go a different route in their job someone who's out there who's making a decision to start a business someone who's out there who's making a decision to do something where you can spend more time with your family and kids Make a decision and don't be slow in making a decision and know that there will be people around you to support you in what it is you want to do and don't let anyone talk you out of your dream. With that being said, guys, take care. God bless and I look forward to connecting with you all soon.